Hmm. Now let's look at Pacino certified. What's going on, y'all? It's Tucker Pacino back with another video. Well, Dallas Cowboys schedule is released. And uh, I'm gonna give some strong assumptions here. And uh, let's get right to it. So, uh, off the bat, uh, no Ty Gurley. You know, Cooks is gone. You know what I mean? Uh, golf is a little weak now, uh, being that, you know, the, you know, they do got Jalen Ramsey, but we got three number one receivers. And I'm confident that Dak will be there uh, when the season starts. So uh, let's put a W on that one. Oh my goodness, it's too big. Oh, let's make that a little small. Let's, let's erase that, by the way. Let's erase that. Okay, let's do this. Uh, that, that button right there. Okay, yeah, cool, 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 cool. All right, so let's put a W right there. Now I ain't got my pen, y'all forgive me. Uh, so Atlanta. And it's at home. Um, I don't know, man. Atlanta's kind of strong, but I just think we'll pull that out. It's going to be a close one. Uh, might even be overtime. Uh, let's see. Seattle. Boy, boy, boy. I don't know. Russell Wilson in Seattle. I don't know. Mm. I ain't going to lie, man. I got, I got a bad feeling, you know. But I uh, will just take a W on that. I think the surprising game that we just may lose might be the Cleveland game. You know, defense is tough. You know what I mean? They're going to come to play. Um, but I, I, do, I think we will squeak that out by a field goal. You know, perfect, honest opinion. Uh, the Giants, obviously not losing to them. Um, eh, Arizona, they still rebuilding. Uh, they got nice little pieces over there, but I doubt it. Now, this Washington game, I think we split. We're going to split with the Redskins and the Eagles. Because we're going to be, you know, 6 0. We're going to lose this one game. And I think this, you know, and now this is the thing. I think that we, we win in Philly and we lose later on in the season because we're going to have so many wins based on the schedule that I'm looking at. I don't really see us losing a lot. So. Personally, I would just say if we're going to split, we're going to win this one. And we're going to go down here and put an L on that one, right? Now, Pittsburgh. You know, we're going to have the health, a healthy bend this year. Uh, nice defense. Uh, personally, I just think that we're going to be off of strong, you know, tough win against Philly. It's Philly. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be at that game for sure, for sure. Even though I'll be up north, man, I'll be right there with my, I'm coming to some. I'll be at that Philly game for sure. Uh, anyway, uh, Pittsburgh. I got a bad feeling we're going to lose that. So, so far we will be 7-2. But we come up. Now, I believe that we're going to get a win over Minnesota this year. I think that our def the defense they got is nice, but our offense is too strong. I think typically it's going to have to be good defenses that do pull out wins against this Dallas team. Going to have to, especially if we're healthy. Uh, and like I said, we're going to split. We're going to beat the Redskins at home. And uh, the Baltimore Ravens, one of the toughest defenses in the world. Now, we got the Earl Thomas situation going on. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be there. Uh, that's a big, that is a big L for the defense. And I, not just because of Earl Thomas, I just think that Baltimore's defense is not going to be as excellent as it needs to be. I think our defense will pull out enough to stop the offense of the Ravens, my personal opinion. I think we beat the Bengals. Now, the San Francisco game, 49 fans, I, I, I'm sorry. I just think that late in the season, I just think that we blow you all out in Dallas and I think you know and I'm not going to get into why I look at y'all's schedule because I think that y'all going to be damn crippled by the time y'all come see us in Dallas and uh, just for the hell of it I think we'll just be resting because uh, we'll be what 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 2 is that right? 12 and 2 right? 
down. I'm fucking up my mathematics here. Hold on, y'all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Would be twelve and three, right? Three L's. It'll be twelve and three. I just think that we'll fall. We'll we'll we'll, we'll probably slip. But uh, you know, I think I think the the white the, the fucking Giants are gonna be so horrible. I think they'll lose to our practice squad. Which is my personal opinion. Uh, big shout out to Andy Dalton. I just think he'll be probably starting in week 17. Uh, and I think we finished the season 13 and 3. My personal opinion. Uh, now, I, I'm going to also uh, break down my playoff pieces in the second half of this video. So let's get right into that. All right, so the second part of my video is this. This is how I think the playoff picture will look. Um, and it's not really complicated uh, to see that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will probably easily get 13 to 14 wins. Uh, I don't see them going any less than that. I mean, you got Gronk, you got that powerhouse offense with Tom Brady at the helm. You got a defense that's not to play with. It, it's like it's unfair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So I say I see the Bucks coming out the NFC South. A lot of Saints fans is not going to like the fact that, yeah, you don't see the Saints there. I'm sorry. You don't see the Saints there. I don't think they're going to come out that conference. I think the Falcons and the Saints are both going to be, you know, all those teams are not going to make it. Um, you have the Cowboys, which I think will come out second in the NFC. Uh, right below the Bucks, they should be 12 to 13 wins. Um, on my on my list, you, I have them winning 13, but they could go 11 and 5, they can go 12 and 4, they can go 13 and 3. Uh, you have the 49ers, which will easily take the West. There's no competition over there but the Seahawks. I do not, and I repeat, I do not believe the Rams or the Cardinals are competitive enough to be as good as the 49ers and the Seahawks. So the 49ers are definitely one of those teams that could go right back to the Super Bowl. Um, and in the North, I just don't think that the Packers are uh, well equipped. I, who knows if the Packers even are gonna have Aaron Rodgers starting that quarterback. Even if he does start at quarterback, I just think that you know they have a they have a lot of turmoil going on right now in Green Bay, and I don't see them making the playoffs at all. I think they're one of the surprising teams that don't make it. So I think the Vikings will easily take that. Uh, I think the Mitch Trubisky is garbage. And of course, Detroit is going to be in the basement again. You know, probably tank it for a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Again. You know, it, did they draft a quarterback? I don't even know if they draft a quarterback. I have no idea what Detroit done. But um, Matt Stafford, which I love the guy. I just think he's in the wrong team. I just think he's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, if you put him in place of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he could fucking gunsling the hell out of them. But that's, that's another story. Wild card teams, of course, would be Seattle, uh, obviously. Uh, if Seattle doesn't win that division, they easily going to make the playoffs. They're going to put up 10 to 11 wins uh, for sure. And I think the Eagles will squeak in as a wild card team. And um, we'll get into who wins what, you know, who makes the Super Bowl. I'm not going to get into that. Um, in the AFC, we have the Chiefs, which I think are going to clearly dominate the West. Um, I think Denver will probably put up a fight with the Raiders to make the wild card, but I think they will fall short. Um, but back to the top. So the Chiefs will come out the AFC West. Um, the Colts with Phillip Rivers, I believe, are going to be a surprising team in the AFC. I think the Colts will go back to the second seed. I think they will be probably 10, 11, maybe 12 wins. I don't see the South being too competitive. Other than the Titans, which I had a hard time believing that they would make the playoffs uh, due to the fact that you have a strong Raiders team, which I think that John Gruden is going to turn this team around. But that's another story. We'll get back to it. The Ravens are going to come out the AFC North. I think they're going to run. Uh, they're going to run it up. I think they're going to win at least 10, 11 wins, uh, roughly, probably, you know, no less than 10 for sure. I think Ravens will be one of those teams. I think all four of these teams that lead the AFC, I think they're going to they're gonna have like a couple that might be tied 11 and 5, 12 and 4 ish. Uh, I think just like last year, you're going to have a whole lot of wins for the AFC because it's not too much 
dominating going on. You're going to have the Bills are going to run through the AFC East since the Patriots are going to be in the basement this year. I personally, I really believe they're going to be in the basement this year. I don't think they're going to be as great as you want them to be. Of course, the Raiders are going to be the wild card. Steelers is going to squeak in. Healthy Ben, healthy offense. Uh, Juju, you got the defenses. Everybody's going to be clicking on all cylinders. They're, they're going to be good enough to make that. They almost made the playoffs with a fucking backup last year. Who who knows how to take a helmet hit. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But, uh, yeah, this is my, what I think the AFC and the NFC playoff picture will look like. Of course, people are going to say I'm biased about the Cowboys being a playoff team uh, at number two. I mean... How, how how can you not ignore the fact that, yo, you got Lamb, you got Gallup, you got Amari Cooper, and then Dak Prescott, you know, even if he, especially if he gets his contract. Zeke Elliott in the back. I mean, that's unfair. You know what I mean? We beefed up the offensive line. This is going to be the greatest show in the fucking world on offense, yo. That's if everything goes right. You know what I mean? You got Mike McCarthy, the new blood, a uh, new coach here. It's a new coach. It's a new day in Dallas. Man, uh, this is what y'all should be afraid of. You know what I mean? So uh, that's my personal opinion. But I still think the Bucks are going to be a better team. I think the only team that probably could give the Cowboys a run for that money is the Void Niners and the Bucks. Personal opinion. Um, then in the Super Bowl, of course, you have the Chiefs. I believe that could give the uh, Cowboys a run for their money, too. But that's just neither here nor there. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you think about the Cowboys' schedule or your schedule for your football team. Leave your comments, your thoughts, all that good shit. It's Huggy Pacino for the Huggy Pacino Fact. I'm out.